Hi everybody, this is Lynn from Lynn's Grass Designs. <laughs> I'm sorry, my camera was doing weird stuff. <laughs> now I don't know what I was supposed to... Now I don't know where I was. This is just a spur of the moment. One of those things where something catches your eye and tells you you need to do it. So this is some Cernit translucent, and I'm gonna do a faux. I'm um, sorry, the Cernit translucent in in emerald. So I'm gonna do some faux emerald beads, and I'm gonna do pretty tiny ones, and I'm gonna do pretty tiny ones because. This is my charms bag. And in this particular bag right here, I was just looking through. What I was doing was putting all this together with all those charms I just got. But these are some I already had. And there are shamrocks in here. There's quite a few of them. Shamrocks. So I'm going to pull out those shamrocks and make a little, if I can make them small enough, a little um, stretch cord charm bracelet. I think. <laughs> I'll get, let's get started. I'll be back. I'll, I'll dig out the charm. Okay, let's hope this time <clears throat> it's going to be a little more complicated color mix. <clears throat> Sorry about that. with resin I put them on but certain colors of resin dye <laughs> okay these are Sigwong alcohol ink. This one's the green. This one's the leaf green. Okay. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, this one has never even been opened. <gasps> That's hilarious. I was going to just say, put the lid back on it before you do something stupid. Okay, I'm going to douse those with alcohol ink.
and just let it soak in and stuff for a few minutes. I feel like we should have Jeopardy music playing right now. Okay, now of course when I doused it, it coated both sides, although not completely. Let's fix that a little bit. What we're, what we're trying to do, and this polymer clay was actually a bit fresh. But we're trying to get this alcohol in the alcohol ink to kind of dry up some of this pollen clay. Okay, so once again, I'm going to let that dry up and um, evaporate up. And I'll be back. Okay, now this has actually set <laughs> overnight. My husband came in and one thing just led to another. And before I knew it, it was shower, dinner, and bedtime. Now, we did the alcohol ink and let it dry. <coughs> But the one thing I can't stress enough, now, remember, this could be just regular Primo translucent, but this is the translucent, the Cernit translucent in the emerald, okay? So it could just be regular Primo that you'd colored up with either green alcohol ink or mica or whatever you wanted to color it with. Depending on how fresh your translucent clay is, because this is really fresh, I put the alcohol ink on both sides and let it dry. Then it wasn't really dry enough. So I sprayed it with just some 91% alcohol and then let that dry. Okay, you can see kind of the, the surface of the polymer clay itself is a matte finish. Now, of course, it's still a little glossy where there's extra alcohol ink, but that's why we get the gloves on. Okay, I'm going to try it with this darker color and see if you can see anything. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that side. Okay. When it's translucent, you can see it a lot better, but... Can you see how this polymer clay is just breaking apart super, I won't say easy, but easy. <laughs> okay, I just want to break it up into some bigger pieces okay now 
Okay, then I'm going to put it back on. This one. <laughs> and we're going to put some more alcohol ink. This is the green one. I love this color because a green, a real green in alcohol ink or mica powder is a difficult thing to find. It's almost as hard as red to find a real green. And People who love green know what I'm talking about. Okay, that's that bit. Now we're going to let that dry. And we're going to work on the other bit. Okay. Now with that other one, the pieces broke up in a really similar size, okay, but you can see on this one, we're getting a lot more small, tiny bits, that's what I'm looking for, not too much smaller, but just smaller. About half those size chunks. Before that has a chance to dry, okay. Now, before that has a chance to dry. This one is just a generic white. I just find this way way easier okay now because this is all going to be mixed together anyway now we can add the darker green and 
get it all in there. Okay. Then this is the living earth from the Alexis Chameleon powders. Okay. That's what we got. This is just my bacon bond, just because it's what's handy. It could be translucent liquid Sculpey. It could be colored liquid Sculpey. It could whatever. Okay, there it is all together. Now it does have a lot of liquid Sculpey. I'm just gonna cut circles out of this. This is using my one inch cutter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut one inch circles and then I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, so that's what I'm just gonna do. Okay, see, it's just the one inch circles cut in half. I just pinch them in half. <clears throat> and make them into a little core, make sure they're all pressed together. palms a little bit make them a little round and flip it around push the end of that bead up on the other end and there we go all right I'm gonna do this to however many I think it was 18 of these <laughs> Then I'm going to bake them at 275 for 30 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, here's how they came out. I think they are stunning. I have to replace that one. That's one of the... That must be one of the uh -huh, scrap that I had left over that I cut in half. And, but it's not the same size. Let's grab it. Is. It's just a tiny bit bigger, but you can tell it. And especially on one like this, you'd be able to tell it. Okay, now we've got seven of these little Lucky Charm beads. Seven of the bead beads. <laughs> I'm going to get some, um, maybe green seed beads, or 
transparent seed beads. I can't make up my mind. This is Crystal Tech. This is the brand of stretch cord that I prefer. Huh? I've been using it quite a few years and I just like it. I like the point, the 0 0.8. Okay, it's just a good product. Finding where it opens from is the tough part. Alright, right there. I'm going to open this. Cut it off 12, 10, 12 inches, something like that. And then I'll be back. Oh. How sweet of it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to cut off that end that would just pull that out of that crimp because that will be damaged. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to look for that thing. Now we've got our cord. First thing I'm going to do is pre stretch it. So I'm going to grab it close to the end. And just give it a stretch all the way down. Out. Try not to snap yourself. And then I'm going to pull it overall. Alright, now. That is a stretched out piece of cord. I hold it in my right hand and then I'm going to hold the other end right there. Okay, and I'm going to start with the bead. Hey, hey. Don't do that. Okay, the, these were just the rondelles that were rolling around in the bottom of the box. Okay, I'm thinking we're going back to the seed bead. If these will fit on the stretch cord. And hopefully they will. And wh whether I can see that they will. a game changer all right just a minute buddy hey no
threading these little seed beads is not an easy task. Then again, threading these rondelles isn't either. Oh yeah, that that's gonna be huge. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. All right, I'm gonna add the rest of these, and I'll be back. Okay. Now. Okay, it's seven inches. And I've evened up the tally that I've got left on each end. You go left over right. Okay. Flip the left hand tail underneath twice. Okay. I'm going to flip the left hand underneath twice and pull, alright? Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cinch that pretty good. Not. I'm pulling it so taut it's going to break. Alright, then I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, except right over left. Okay, back to the knot. I pulled it tight, down extra tight, pulled it, stretched it, and then I put a drop of glossy accents. This is a dry, this is, this is a glue that dries hard and clear, okay? Doesn't have any... Like a E6000 is still, it's like a rubber cement kind of finish. It's kind of stretchy or whatever you want to say about it. Not like that. I want a hard, but not like a super glue. You can use super glue, but super glues have a solvent in them and eventually will break down the elastic cord. Okay. I did that during the charging battery time. So annoying. I don't understand why it can't just be like your phone and give you a notification. 15% battery life left. Well, that I would find a place to stop filming and charge the battery. Nope. It goes all the way till the battery is empty. And then it goes, and then. Lens closes, the shutter closes, and the lens pulls back up, and whatever. Whatever. Every time I say that, my husband will say, Man, you sound just like your baby sister. <laughs> Alright, we could put charms all the way around. We could just pick out some charms. And put charms all the way around and make it a, a real charm bracelet. Instead, what I'll do is normally I just wear a couple. And I, I just put one charm. And I usually put it on the end that I just let go back in there. So, now it doesn't matter. So, what I... I'm hopeful for for 
for this next year. What I need to luck for is money. Last year was so... It was so hard on everybody. I, don't, I really don't know how we made it. And so far, this year isn't any better. There we go. The hundred dollar bill. Oh, I'm all awful again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be still a second and get it off my hand so you can see it against something. I would say pretty, but prettier. Well, you'll just get a chance to look at those beads. Okay, I'm thinking that my gloss glaze has gotten too close to the bottom and no, no longer has enough gloss to be glossy or these need another coat. They're really pretty. I don't know if you can even see it on camera pearly, translucent -y. I like to find a place where you could really see it. You can kind of see that's the translucent -y bit. Okay, right there. translucent -y, pearly prettiness. Okay. That dollar charm is actually lighter than I expected for how heavy those four-leaf clo four clovers are. Alright. Thank y'all so much. Oh. Here lately I feel like my my videos are almost like a a bad sitcom. But there they are. Really, really cute. But it does go to show you how much um, like jewelry finding its findings and stuff it takes to pull off a piece of jewelry. A piece of it and make it look like something like I could see that at a um, you know like a well up here <laughs> North Texas wise we've got a little um, a local resale shop that is called the Red Rooster <clears throat> I don't even know what it really originally was. What was it? Anyway, it's a it's a resale shop and they sell all kinds of you know resale stuff. Everything from outside they'll have farm equipment <laughs> to inside they've got clothing and jewelry and you know, I could see this in a display. You know, up there on commission. Those, that would be cute, cute, cute. All right. Uh, seriously, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching my lunacy. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
Um, I can't tell you where these beads are from because they were gifted to me, so I have no idea. Um, these little rondelles. I believe actually came from AliExpress, AliExpress or Wish, uh, but Timu, everybody's got them. Everybody's got them. Uh, and of course, the charms. I actually... Yep, I actually just bought these charms off a of team. This is one of the. What are the.